Hey, 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 my dear hearts, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Healing Hearts with the Heart Surgeon, where we know Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is the ultimate heart surgeon. For my first time viewers, welcome. <laughs> and for those who are back again, welcome back. <laughs> Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, this is not about me. It's about getting this word out to as many hearts as possible, right? We want to um, spread the love over here <laughs> from the come on over here to the channel and get that much-needed heart surgery. Um, I just want to thank you all for the support and um, the text messages, the DMs, the phone calls, all the, the encouragement that you all give me. Thank you, um, even from letting me know uh, what you all receiving from the channel, uh, the DMs, the uh, messages, the comments below, the emails. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It truly means a lot. Um, first and foremost, let's welcome Holy Spirit in. We know that he's within us. We want him to speak through me as well as saturate our atmosphere and make these hearts pliable, right? So glorify you, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord. God, you are the Alpha. You are the Maker. You are the beginning and the end, the author and the finish of our faith, Father God. You are our refuge and our strong tower. We honor you, Lord God, just because of who you are. We thank you for traveling grace and mercy. We thank you for keeping us safe on this holiday. We thank you, Lord God, for being with those who are unable to be here with us, those who have lost loved ones, those who are going through um, loss in regards to the storms and the fires and um, just, just be with us, comfort us, comfort them, Lord God. You are Jehovah Jireh, so I thank you for providing all of the needs, Lord God, that are necessary. We thank you, Father, just for being who you are in our lives. Thank you uh, for making a way out of what appears to be no way, um, just being our comforter. I thank you, Father God, for the hearts that are here and the hearts that you are sending, Father. I ask that you speak through me. Have your way on today, Lord God. We glorify you. We honor you as in your son, Jesus. Holy and righteous name we pray. Amen. So um, I won't be before you long. Um, he was talking to me a day because um, lately it's just been like a, a, you know how you like you feel like you're walking through like molasses, like you're, you're just so tired, right? And um, he reminded me of a time where um, I was having difficulty with praying. You know, I wasn't speaking in tongue the way that I was. And it was like one day he just, you know, kind of like a little tap on the shoulder. Like, you know, hey, um, hey, talk to me. And um, I was like, wow, like I realized I wasn't praying the same way. And um, it was like I didn't know what to pray. So he was talking to me about that time. And usually when I'm asking him, you know, what to talk about on the channel or what it is that he wants to say, um, I know that, like I said before, the word ministers to me first, but you know, it goes out to you all. And, um, if you in, find yourself in that place where you reach an impasse, you know, or a plateau in your prayer life, because it's like <clears throat> the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. Right. And, um, we feel as though, you know, it's not happening fast enough. We're not seeing the results from the prayers. We're tired of praying. We don't even know what else to say. Right. Like, I don't know what else to say, pray, do whatever I've fasted i've done all this i'm still not seeing the results that i want to see just yet i'm frustrated um or you just get discouraged and it feels heavy you know the enemy comes to do that so that and it's usually before we reach another level in god that he comes to try to make us feel as though um god is the liar he's not telling the truth or try to make us feel as though our prayers aren't being heard and they're worthless and all these lies right because we know that he's the father of lies and he comes to speak this word to us to discourage us from praying but little do we know you know just because we don't know what god is doing behind the scenes you know we are knocking down the kingdom of darkness brick by brick with our prayers for what we're believing and standing on the word of god for right we don't see it just yet because sometimes we haven't seen um even a, a drop you know of, of a, a sign to show us that hey i'm i'm working on those things you just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean that i'm not on your side it doesn't mean that i'm not working behind the scenes on your behalf and the enemy wants us to only see like i said what's in front of us and not what's going on back here so we have to be at another place of knowing just trusting and knowing god to be who he is, to know the word for ourselves, not just head knowledge, but the belief, right? Remember, we talked about the importance of the belief in our hearts to know and believe that God is actually working on our behalf, even if we can't see it, even if he doesn't feel like it, if um, that weight starts to come upon us. And so uh, he was showing me a trick, you know, and it was like, just begin to say thank you. And it's something that happens. Um, you know how the song, you know, praise confuses the enemy, right? And it's like, 
when you say thank you, something happens in your heart. It, 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 it opens it up a little bit more. So when we begin to thank God, even in the midst of, I remember vividly, plenty of times, <laughs> and I know a lot of times last year where I had like full-blown tears in my eyes, streaming down my face, boo-hoo, snot cry, like Viola Davis all going in. <laughs> and it was like, he told me to thank him. So on today, I want to give you all a, a, a little small sign of encouragement, and I pray that it blesses someone and it helps you where you are. Begin to thank him. And when you begin to thank him, it, it shifts something in the atmosphere it shifts it from you know complaining to god and, and fussing and, and focusing on what's not happening and it shifts it to focusing on what you want to see happening right it shifts your faith and your hope right and your trust so it's like okay god thank you thank you that i'm thank you for uh my family's health thank you for my finances thank you for doors that are opening on behalf of my finances thank you for the doors that you have for me that you set before me thank you that you are setting a, a, a table in the presence of my enemies thank you that you're leading me beside still waters thank you that you are showing me my purpose and my destiny thank you thank you god just for being who you are thank and, and then you can start off with praising him if, if you don't want to start there start with just Putting your thank you in, in who he is. You know, thank you, God. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you that you are the alpha and the omega. Thank you are the, that you are the beginning and the author. Or the author and the finisher of my faith. That you are beginning and the end. That you are all-knowing. That you are all-powerful. Because it shifts your, your, your focus from being on what you haven't seen and what's going on with you to who he is. And when you do that, it's like something goes, uh, it's like a, uh, I can't explain it. It's like an unveiling of the heart where you begin to see like, you know, oh, he is this. He is that. He is this. And um, it shifts it from it being like, oh, it's not happening. He's lying. Da, 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 da. Like you shut up the mouth of the enemy by focusing and praising God. So I hope this is helping someone who may be going through a hard time and feeling like they're walking through molasses or, or quicksand and you can't get to the other side of whatever it is. Don't worry about that. Begin to shift your focus to God and begin to thank him and honoring him. And, and then as you begin to thank him in that place, shift it to, you know, thank you for the things that you want to see. You know, thank you that I have employment, Lord God. Thank you that you said that you are my Jehovah Jireh. You supply all of my needs according to your riches and your glory. Thank you that you are not like man, that you will lie, nor the son of man, that you will repent. Thank you, Lord God, for making a way out of what appears to be no way. Thank you for the return of the prodigal, Father God. Thank you that you are um, giving him a new heart or giving her a new heart, a new spirit, um, that you are removing the heart of stone and giving them hearts of flesh. Thank you that you are removing the taste of 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 any substance lord god that my family member may be addicted to thank you for removing the taste of alcoholism think of, of alcohol thank you for removing the the generational curse of alcoholism out of my bloodline thank you lord god that you're removing the taste of of of, of marijuana of cocaine of crack of any of, of heroin any of any addiction that you are changing that thank you father god even if you don't see it right now just thank him for doing it okay so I thank you, Lord God, for, for giving me direction and instruction on my purpose, my destiny. Thank you, because your word says that you will answer. So begin to thank him in these things. So Father God, we just thank you. We thank you, we glorify you, we honor you, Lord God, just because of who you are. I thank you for um, teaching all the hearts out there, Lord God, to begin to shift their focus onto you and who you are. Begin to magnify your name, Lord God, because you cannot fail. You can do anything but fail, Lord God, and you want us to succeed. You want us to know your will. You want us to walk in your path, Lord God. So I thank you for um, showing each and every heart here, Lord God, their purpose, their destiny, Lord God. I thank you, Father, for... Um, removing hearts of stone and giving them hearts of flesh, Father. Pouring out your spirit that it will be obedient to your statue. I thank you, Lord God, that each and every heart will submit, yield, and surrender unto you, Lord God, so that you can have uh, your way in their lives, Lord God. I thank you that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, pertaining to each and every heart that is here in the hearts that are coming, Father God. We glorify you. We honor you. And we just want to say thank you. We love you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my dear hearts, I pray and hope that that blessed someone on today. Um, please don't grow weary in well-doing, for you will reap a harvest if you faint not. Don't allow the enemy to come and steal, kill, and destroy anything that God has for you. Remember to shift your focus unto the Lord and begin to just give him praise and honor and thanks. Until my next video, dear hearts, bye.